Ripple of Hope Award overnight as CBS posted unedited Oprah interview, speaking her truth. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry accused the British royal family of lying and spreading falsehoods about them in the tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. In a promo for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's CBS interview with Oprah, which is titled Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special, Meghan revealed why she and her husband broke their silence on the way Buckingham Palace treated them after years of not speaking out. I don't know how they could expect that, after all this time, we'd still just be silent if there's an active role that the firm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods about us, she said. And if that comes with the risk of losing things, there is a lot that's already been lost already. The promo comes after the Times published a report on Tuesday, March the 2nd, claiming that at least one royal staffer filed a bullying complaint against Meghan while she and Prince Harry lived at Kensington Palace. In response to the claims, a rep for Meghan issued a statement to Omid Scobie, author of the 2020 book Finding Freedom. The Duchess is saddened by this latest attack on a character, particularly as someone who's been the target of bullying herself and is deeply committed to supporting those who've experienced pain and trauma. The statement continued, She's determined to continue her work building compassion around the world and will keep striving to set an example for doing what is right and doing what is good. A source told Scobie for Harper's Bazaar on Wednesday, March the 3rd, that Meghan and Harry knew their relationship with the British royal family would become ugly, as the date for the Oprah interview approaches, but they never expected Buckingham Palace to try to destroy the Duchess of Sussex's character. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry seem to be in a very difficult situation over accepting a human rights award. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been facing backlash since it was announced that they would receive the Ripple of Hope Award for their heroic stand against structural racism within the British royal family. Some royal fans and experts still believe that the couple would prefer to win back hearts to rebuild their image among the Britons and others who are reportedly going away from the California-based couple since the Oprah interview, as they want the Sussexes to drop their royal titles if they cannot stop attacking the firm. Royal commentator Jenny Bond also believes that King Charles' youngest son Harry and his wife Meghan shouldn't turn up for the awards ceremony. Miss Bond told GB News, It's put the Sussexes in a rather difficult position, I think. Do they say no? We don't want to even acknowledge that you're offering this award. Do we go and accept it in person? Perhaps the middle way of just accepting it, but not turning up is something. I think if they do go along and accept the award on a public stage, yeah, it's going to make things even worse. The rift could even be deeper. Meghan and Harry, who are living in the US after stepping down as senior working members of the royal family, face a dilemma over whether to accept the award as it risks further tensions within the royal family. It all started happening after Kerry Kennedy, president of the organisation, revealed that Harry and Meghan have been honoured for making a 